Hello there everybody, George here and uh, I hope you're all well. It's absolutely Baltic here. Um, wind and rain and all sorts of carry on. Not, uh, not very pleasant at all. So right, what are we going to have a look at in this video? So carrying on from the previous few I've done, the um, audio stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to make the lead that you'll need to go from your mixer output onto your um, onto your GI box. So we have the few bits here. We have a, a TRS. So we know from the previous discussion that that is a balanced uh, connector. And then we have a TS, which is an unbalanced connector. And we have about a meter and a half of Van Damme uh, star quad cables. So um, let's get going at it here. And we'll show you what's what. So um, I suppose the first thing I always like to do is uh, get the cable stripped and uh, get it ready. So, as if you haven't seen the previous videos, the star quad cable you've got four conductors and uh, a braid then you have this twine the idea of the twine is over a very long run of cable it's to stop the cable stretching so for our application none of our uh, none of our uh, cables are going to be that long so we can just cut it out now we're going to cut that in half Strip the ends and just cut it on the top. Oh, cut it too much. <laughs> I just like to cut it on the top like this and on the bottom. Just be careful, Stanley blades are sharp. Give it a pull. Still one there. Right, so you've got uh, the four wires, right? So you just get your two blue and two white. And the way I do this, I use white for audio plus. I use blue for audio minus. And the shield is the ground. So we'll get those, um, get them tinned up now. In there so you can see what's going on so, you know, clean the tip of your iron um, I see more videos of the lads doing stuff on uh, YouTube here and the end of the iron is absolutely manky so have it nice and clean no impurities and watch your soldering so you just tin those and then we'll tin the braid. Now we're going to cut the most of that off, so we only want uh, the last little piece. Like that. And just cut the rest off. Okay, so that's one end ready. And we'll just strip the other end. That end is going to be for the TRS plug, the balance end. So this end, we're going to do things a little differently because the input to your DI box is unbalanced because that's what it's, uh, that's the kind of signal it's supposed to be getting, unbalanced from a guitar, keyboard, bass guitar, uh, in order to feed that signal directly onto, say, front of house uh, console or whatever in a studio or whatever the case may be. So on this end, we do it slightly different where we get rid of the braid altogether. We don't need it. Okay, so we're just gonna use the, the four conductors and uh, you leave your ground as what's described as floating. 
and that'll give you an unbalanced input going into your DI box. So, you know, you look at some of the sites there, they'll be telling you to use transformers and uh, this, that and other, and uh, that can get very expensive very fast. Now I've done it this way from day one, and uh, I've never had any problems. So, same story here, we'll tin the two of these. Oh damn. And get them ready to put on the plugs. Right. So now we're ready to uh, put on our plugs and we'll get our little vice here. I like to use this when I'm making videos, it just makes things a bit easier. Right, so I want to screw the plug. What one is this? Uh, it's the other one I want. I just run through this here. If you haven't seen the other videos, you have your ferrule, your strain spring. This is an insulator which stops the, uh, the, the hot or the whatever grounding out against the side of the case and giving you a short and your ground connection goes on here so the first thing you want to do is you want to put the ferrule on real pain if you forget because you have to take everything apart we follow that with the spring followed by the insulator right so you have them on the cable like that then I just put the Put this in here, just handy because I'm able to keep my hands out of the way. I'm showing you guys what to do. Now, this is a used plug, so just kind of give it a fresh bit of solder. Now, so we're going to make our ground connection first. You know, try not to move anything until the solder goes hard because you can uh, you get a cold joint. And you know, it might initially work for a period of time and then it'll fail and you'll be rooting through all your leads trying to figure out where it's gone wrong. So, there we go. So, we apply our cable clamp. <coughs> Give it a squeeze like that. Put the insulator on. Push down the spring. Then we just close up the ferrule. So that is the TS end of the, of the equation out of the way. So that's the unbalanced end. So this end has a TRS which will plug into one of the main outputs on your mixer. Uh, main output left was what I always used to use for transmit audio. So again, furled, spring, and uh, insulator, and here's our plug, so I'll get that in there, open the clamp, now I'm going to do a little twisting and turning with this one because we have a Actually, we, no, we can do it this way. So the way these are laid out, it's quite simple. Um, I get emails all the time asking about this stuff. This is very simple stuff. So on any jack plug, RCA plug, anything like that, the piece that's got the cable clamp on it is always where the braid is going to go. Um, that's your ground, okay? Uh, this one here, and you'll see at the back, I tilt it up there, sorry, slightly out of focus, but this silver part here in the center, that's the uh, connection for the tip of the plug. This one here is the ring. So this is the ground or the sleeve. So we we'll put a fresh bit of solder onto the plug. It's 
cold out here today. It's the first time I've uh, had to put the heaters on. Now, we'll connect our ground first. Like that. I get me tweezers now and I can do the other ones without getting in the way. Says he, hopefully. So that's the ring. Now the tip. Now don't be afraid to hold iron on it for a few seconds. Get everything to flow together. Heat the work, not the solder. So then we just push down our cable clamp. Bring down our insulator. That's not the right insulator for that now, but we'll make it work. They will stretch. <clears throat> Spring and furl. So that is pretty much it. That is your cable then. That will work from your mixer to your uh, input your DI box. That's how you make that cable. So uh, I hope you find that helpful. And uh, if you have any questions and uh, if you need any advice or have any questions in general give me a, an email here and uh, if i can help you i will and if not i'll try and steer you in the direction of where you'll find the help that you need so we'll get you in the next one and uh, take care this is george bye